Welcome to the sixth episode of Probably Nothing. A lot has happened in the last few days. Thanks to Snoopy007, Travel Paddy and Oldwatch who bought a Super Sialum and support this channel. My thanks is over 9000. TanglePay has started a partnership with TangleSwap, so you could probably use TanglePay in the DeFi area soon. In the last episode I already reported about the new website, there it was already said that you could soon connect TangleSwap with TanglePay, so the partnership does not come as a surprise. Hans Moog also sent out an interesting tweet, which you have to take with a grain of salt, at least as far as the timing is concerned. Hans was at the research summit and they discussed how and in which steps the core site will be introduced in the mainnet in the coming month. He thinks that the first part of GoShimmer will be moved to Hive, but the main goal is to clean up the code. Over 30,000 lines of code have been changed. An interesting article about the overview of IOTA was published on moderndigital.info. This article is primarily aimed at people hearing about IOTA for the first time. On the 19th of May, IOTA also released the new Tangle Explorer. The new version has many new features and improvements, new content on the addresses and new pages such as QR code, transaction history and navigation bar, milestones, dark mode and much more. Jelle Melena added a tweet that the new explorer is a great way to watch your own created DID. A new partnership between Assembly and Chromey was decided. Chromey is a Latin American NFT provider. Community member Kali, who has a nice pixel NFT collection, is releasing his latest work, which you can buy starting today. But according to this tweet, there is one last thing. The whole IOTA Nerds collection is dedicated to the Probably Nothing project. That means, however wise this Pixel Nerds is also supporting this YouTube channel at the same time. This is an incredible generous guest for which I can say thank you. I didn't expect this and it shows how open hearted the community is. Check out the great characters, there are still some there, there will also never be another collection of Kali. Also leave lots of love for him on Twitter or here in the comments. Thank you, thank you, thank you. At the end of the last episode, Holger Köter still came up with a new application and now he confirms that the IOTA token will be used for microtransactions. Another use case joins the big ecosystem. Landex was a big topic last episode. CoinRisk took a look at the tokenomics and trend and analysis. The rating gives a green signal. But unfortunately, it's not apparent how the weighting works and thus hard to judge it's really green. Have a look yourself, give your opinion but be careful. Dominic Schina published a blog article on Cointelegraph on the 18th of May. Crypto experience, wipe shift. What does the shift in sentiment mean for the industry? This article is about the geopolitical developments that have happened this year and how they have affected cryptocurrencies. This article is not directly about IOTA right now, but still interesting to read as it's also addressed the political implications and the ethical view. Twitter user Ishaus2040 has tweeted an infographic about Shimmercy. As always, this is a full of information and gives a quick overview of the project. They'll publish an article about their DCF technology on the 13th of May. The Data Confidence Fabric or DCF provides a standardized method for qualifying, screening, measuring and determining whether a company's data meets confidence standards and relevance. The target is the carbon credit market which is currently prone to counterfeiting or even double selling. For example, Bloomberg reports that about 30% of companies in different industries have mismatched data in a last one emissions category. And the Financial Review recently reported that up to 80% of government issues carbon credits are false. Now you get free guesses which technology Dell chooses to trade the data trustworthy manner. Do to had Dogecoin, Shiba or Floki coin in mind can now switch off. But if you guessed that the Tangle, you're right. The project from Timson Labs, which was mentioned in episode 4, will target the launch on the platform for May. So it's only a few more days until we can watch the exchanges and their wallets. The second secret project from Soon Labs has been released. This is a game with the name Escape from Planet V. The game follows Soonman and his friends after they get sucked through a wormhole and crashed on a planet V. With a broken spaceship and few resources, 
the team realized that they need to start building from scratch. They start mining and gardening to gather supplies. Of course, there are enemies and battles. You can all find out how the battles are scared of, how the marketplace works, and how many fighters you get at the beginning for free in the Soonlabs blog article. The economics are also introduced in the article. A release date has not been announced. A conference, how to develop and deploy a digital DRS deposit system on a global scale will be held on the 26th of May. In white are packaging manufacturers, brand owners, retailers, consumers, governments and regulators. Digital DRS is a new approach to deposit return system enabled by digital tracking of consumer products. Jens Münch is representing the IOTA Foundation. Also attending there are GS1 US, Ketzler, Recycler and the DDRS Alliance. The conference is free of charge. IOTA Foundation also published a new blog article, the IOTA Governments Forum. In this, the Governments Forum is highlighted. Since the forum is an important step for the future, where you can also publish new votes in Firefly Wallet later, this article is long overdue. The IOTA Cafe has been restructured for this purpose. Tangle Bay releases a new version of the Swarm software. All those who own a node and run it through Swarm should update it. Many community members know the wallet TanglePay. Now TanglePay tweet that they are want to have an audit done by Cetric. This will make the app more secure in many eyes and will remove more prejudices. The third secret project was also published by Soon Labs. This is a partnership with TanglePay. People will be able to use it to store their Soon tokens in their wallet and buy new tokens directly. Those interested in DID, digital identifiers, should read the guest article at Tangle Labs by Danny Cree. This comprehensive article shows the current situation, so the web 2.0 and the future. There are also news from community treasury governance. It was about the recent test votes in an open beta and they were well received. Firefly is as good as finished, it will only be polished and then there will be an update. After that comes the first vote. Even those who run a node can participate in a voting. You can watch the complete conversion on YouTube. FinTechMagazine.com did an interview with Sankar Krishan, EVP and industry leader for banking and capital markets at Capgemini. When asked if there are better alternative to blockchain, he said following. There are also several industrial initiatives like R3 Corda that use a peer-to-peer -peer model for creating transactions or other DLT technologies like Hashgraph, IOTA Tangle, etc. Traditional large technologies companies have also used distributed database that can function without a blockchain. So the banking industry has IOTA on this radar. You can find the whole interview in the description. If you have no overview anymore which NFTs do what, if they are serious at all and what to think about them, you should read the article from ICCD. It deals with the DYOR, the do your own research approach. The article series is about the points that you can check off yourself when you invest in a project, the basics. How to evaluate tokenomics, for example, you can expect in the next article. In the second article, we get down to the nitty gritty. There, a table is provided on which you can negotiate your way down and evaluate the project you want to invest in. This article is mandatory for all. Hoon, an old community member, is building a web free application with IOTA. The screenshot he shared on Twitter looks very interesting. If the blockchains are already integrated, which you can see, the application will make waves. We are curious what and especially when the next info will come. Yesterday Adam Unchained tweeted a new update for the Sooniverse platform and then it is advanced search. In the tweet is also a video where you can see the results better. Since Sooniverse already feels like a bursting at the seams, this little convenience is very welcome. Tanglesy is sending you back to school. They would like to offer a DeFi training with qualified trainers. The training starts on the 1st of June on Discord and is free for everyone. Free tutoring? With pleasure. Continuing with learning, on the 30th of May there will be the first session IOTA DAO Pioneers. Here you can learn everything about DAO. Now previous knowledge necessary, all are welcome and it's for free. That's it for episode 6, thanks for watching and see you on the next episode. Bye bye. <laughs>